Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Biochemistry Concepts. This video is about carboxylation, the mechanism and types of carboxylation. So carboxylation means it is a chemical reaction where a carboxyl group is introduced into a molecule or compound which leads to formation of a carboxylic acid or carboxylate. Now we will see the mechanism of carboxylation. So when you see this mechanism, carboxylases are the enzymes which catalyze the carboxylation reactions. But the carboxylase itself cannot catalyze the reaction, it requires the help of a coenzyme called as biotin. So carboxylase is a coenzyme and biotin is the coenzyme. So in another way, biotin is the non-protein part which is required for the activity of carboxylase and carboxylase is the protein part. So these two react to form biotin carboxylase complex catalyzed by holocarboxylase synthetase. This complex in turn reacts with carbon dioxide and this carbon dioxide binds to biotin. This addition of carbon dioxide to biotin carboxylase complex requires energy and that is supplied by ATP which gets hydrolyzed to ADP and inorganic phosphate. So this reaction produces carboxybiotin carboxylase complex. This carboxybiotin carboxylase complex or simply carboxybiotin enzyme complex reacts with a substrate or acceptor and forms the product which is called as carboxy substrate or carboxylated substrate. So here during this reaction the biotin carboxylase complex is released. These carboxylations are of two types biotin dependent and biotin independent. The reactions where carbon dioxide is added to substrate with the help of biotin are biotin dependent carboxylation reactions. Coming to examples of this biotin dependent carboxylation reactions, conversion of acetyl CoA to melanyl CoA, it is catalyzed by enzyme acetyl CoA carboxylase. And the importance of this reaction is the starting material for the synthesis of fatty acids in our body by de novo synthesis of fatty acids is acetyl CoA. So this acetyl CoA in the first reaction of de novo fatty acid synthesis is converted into melanyl CoA catalyzed by this particular enzyme. Second example is conversion of propionyl CoA to methyl melanyl CoA. And the importance of this reaction is this propionyl CoA is produced during the metabolism of certain amino acids like valine, isoleucine, threonine and it is also produced during the degradation of odd chain fatty acids. So this propionyl CoA which is produced from these amino acids and odd chain fatty acids is further metabolized where this biotin dependent carboxylation is required. The third reaction conversion of pyruvate to oxaloacetate. So this conversion is also biotin dependent carboxylation reaction and it is essential for the synthesis of glucose from many non-carbohydrate sources by a process called as gluconeogenesis. Not only that, the oxaloid state which is formed is also required for the continuous operation of citric acid cycle. Coming to fourth reaction, so in the metabolism of leucine, beta-methyl-crotonyl-CoA is converted to beta-methyl-glutaconyl-CoA. This is also a biotin dependent carboxylation reaction. Now coming to biotin independent carboxylation reactions, reactions where biotin is not required for these carboxylation reactions. So the first reaction in the clockwise direction, you can see the conversion of ammonia and carbon dioxide to carbamyl phosphate. So this is the first reaction in the urea cycle, urea synthesis. Here the biotin is not required for this carboxylation reaction. The second one is the carbon number 6 of purine ring is obtained from this carbon dioxide. So here the addition of carbon dioxide catalyzed by carboxylase is also biotin independent reaction. The last example is in the post translational modification of some clotting factors like factor 2, 7 and 9, 10. So these factors are activated by carboxylation. So where this carboxylase enzyme it does not require biotin as the coenzyme. So instead of that, this particular carboxylase requires vitamin K 
as the coenzyme.